Congratulations, divine beings. You've made it through the first three steps in the framework. If you've done the work so far and you've been intently following and doing all of the work, then you are truly ready for a life change. Congratulations. I can tell you're going to succeed because you've been sticking with me all the way through this program and we're going to do this right until the end. One self-sabotaging behavior is actually losing interest in something that's truly going to help you and not even finishing it. However, you're here right now, so I know you're ready for success. You really want to take the next step. So this is just the beginning of what I have to offer to you. Let's move on to the next step in the framework. Step number four in the Self-Love Insider's Guide is Every night before you go to bed, you're going to write down five or more things that you are grateful for. I know that that can be a really hard thing, depending on where you're at in your life. I remember being in a place in my life where I had a really hard time uh, thinking of things to be grateful for. It could be, however, as simple as just being alive, being grateful for your heart that's beating, your feet that allow you to be able to walk, your hands that allow you to be able to touch and feel things. Once you get going, the ideas will start to flow. Practicing regular gratitude is a really powerful way to reprogram the mind for positivity. If you're looking to take risks and invest in your dreams, quit your job and pursue your passions, you want to create a positive mindset that is going to be very supportive. It makes it so much easier for you to jump off the cliff feeling like you know that you're going to grow those wings on the way down. And if you don't, it's a learning opportunity. And next time you do jump off that cliff, you're going to thrive. The best way to reprogram the mind for the positive, like I said, is to write down things that you are grateful for every night before you go to sleep. And really, when you think about it, there are so many things to be grateful for. However, like I said, if you're having a hard time thinking of things to be grateful for right now, I totally respect where you're at at the moment, okay? I'm here to give you some basic, simple things that you can be grateful for to get you started, and then you can go from there. First is your sense of taste that allows you to enjoy all of the amazing flavors that are out there all around the world. How about we start with a beautiful handmade Italian pizza with fresh tomato sauce, ooh, and creme brulee to finish. Oh, that sounds amazing creamy mashed potatoes that oh and something to go with it a roast that's in a cigarette for 72 hours and it melts in your mouth oh there are so many of us that have comfort foods and there's a reason that we do have comfort foods i have some of my own two of which are sweet potatoes and gyoza not at the same time of course your sense of smell also allows you to be able to enjoy the sweet smell of jasmine flowers in bloom, a barbecue grilling on the steak, potatoes, and sweet corn. Oh my God, that's making my mouth water. I need to go barbecue, but I'm gonna finish this first. Your sense of touch that allows you to feel the touch of a loved one, feeling a cashmere sweater wrapped around your body, the feeling of soft, fluffy socks wrapped around your feet as you're snuggled up on the couch under a soft weighted blanket, reading your favorite book. Your sight that allows you to be able to enjoy the beautiful flowers blooming in spring, the leaves that change colors, all of the colors in the fall. A curvy woman wearing a sexy dress that hugs her curves, just like a glove commanding your attention. A Bugatti Veyron that drives past you and captivates you with its sexy curves and that rumbling engine. It's possible. I love that. There are so many things to be grateful for. To make it even more simple, your heart beats 24-7 so you can live. Your lungs breathe 24-7 so you don't even have to think about it. You are a miracle. Your body digests food and turns it into hair, nails, skin, organs, and so much more. And you don't even have to think about how it works. Your body is a miracle that endures so much abuse and mistreatment, and it doesn't even complain. It just keeps doing things so that you can continue to have this human experience. Practicing all the simple, basic things that are happening with no effort on your part so that you can have gratitude for that. 
From there on, you can allow the gratitude to flow and expand. With that being said, list five things or so many more if you want to that you're grateful for and see where it takes you. Once you get going, you might amass quite the list. I know it definitely got me going when I had somebody challenge me for the first time. All right, guys, create that gratitude list and then we'll move on to the next one.